Hello. Main Queen here. Life after money. Hello. You only need to see my hands today. So, I'm going to talk about my arts and crafts work. And you might wonder what has this got to do with my blog, which is all about a simple life, money saving and frugal living. Well, the fact is, I try not to spend any money on my arts and crafts. I like to use materials that would otherwise be thrown away, that people throw out, that people give me, uh, sometimes my own rubbish. Um, I buy little bits and bobs from a car boot sale for 30, 40, 50p or so. So I don't go to a craft shop and buy the materials for my craft work. Uh, it means that I can be creative, I can think about how to put things together, I can get an idea in my head of something that I might like to make and then I can work out how to put it together, what kind of materials I'm going to use and what the finished item might look like. So it keeps my brain moving actually my brain working. It's, uh, I am a sort of a creative person. This has all come quite late in life actually because I never had time to do it before while I was working but now I have time. So I think you really do need to keep your brain active, keep your mind working and be creative. So what have we got here? A picture. I've got lots of zips that I acquired from the scrap store at Hull. Small zips, six inches, four inches, different colours. Now the scrap store is a charity, a bit like a charity shop, but on a much larger scale. They salvage stuff from factories that produce something. Um, anything that's going to be thrown in a skip which the factory no longer needs the scrap store goes along and begs asks please can we have this so I got zips from the scrap store at Hull if you google scrap store you might find that there is um, an outlet in your city or town so they sell on their uh, reclaimed items, their donations to craft groups, children's groups, uh, teachers buy it for teaching their children all about arts and crafts. So I'm in the crafty group here and I can go along and have a look and I've got some zips. But then I thought well what do I do with like a few hundred zips? Make a picture, obvious. So this is what I've come up with. Uh, I started this about six weeks ago. It's going to probably take another two weeks to do. Um, I'm almost there, getting towards the end. But uh, anyway, these things take time. I just have an idea in my mind what I want to achieve, what I'm hoping it's going to turn out like, uh, and then put it together piece by piece. The, the backing, the dark green backing, is a curtain, a remnant from a curtain, I might add. I bought the curtain for £1 from a charity shop. Most of it has been used to make shopping bags. But I've got this piece left, which is now the backing for this picture. I've got two layers at the back of it, which is from a child's um, cot sheet. It's a sheet from a child's cot found in a skip. Somebody threw it away. So probably only useful for dusters or cleaning rags, but I can use it as a backing for this picture. So I started off playing with the zips. I've got lots of green zips. It wasn't quite the shade of green that I wanted. Um, a little bit pale. I like bold colours. So what I did 
was to paint the zips and I've got pots of paint from Woolworths when they were closed down years ago I bought lots of pots of paint um, for 4p each so I've painted the green zips it does make it a little bit harder to sew through them but, but I've managed so then I take the zips apart and cut the little tags off in fact I've got lots of little tags now <laughs> I'm going to have to find something for these little tags so um, and then I've cut them apart stitched them together again and made leaves you can see there that I put the metal part on the outside I've left some zips whole I've covered some of the teeth in green thread so this is a little experimental piece um, just to try out to see what would happen if I stitched through the teeth with with green thread I had a little paint there with some felt tip pens <coughs> so this is what we're at so far uh, I've made flowers out of the coloured ones still got more flowers to go on here some of them are double with a, a larger outer and a smaller inner um, I've got some small ones that are different colours where the colour wasn't very bright I've painted them with felt tip pens so I like bold bright colours I've stitched the edges with bold coloured thread so that they all look really nice like flowers so these are going to be dotted about all over I've still got one leaf to go to make a one short I need one more of that length to go into there um, and then I've got these smaller ones I'll take one off and I've cut the zip even smaller and um, stitching along the metal bit so I will just then add these as smaller leaves to be sewn in right so I think it's looking quite good at the moment um, so what I'm doing now is stitching this leaf on here I've got it in place it's quite tough going actually I need to do every stitch precisely in the right place so I've already done stitching on the leaves when I joined the two pieces together so what I'm doing now is going over that first stitching and now stitching it onto the backing so now that went in quite easily pull it through but then it can get a little bit tough you see from underneath I've got to push up precisely in the right place because I don't want to be adding any more stitching to that I need to just be going over the top of what I've already done I'm doing a running stitch first and then going over it again so that it ends up like a back stitch pulling it through and pulling it tight it's, it, it is quite time consuming, quite laborious but this is the only way to do it because I want to keep it flat, I don't want it wrinkled or puckered or I want it stretched out and flat um, if I can't get the needle through then I've got some small pliers have to actually pull it through with that because I've already started sticking the needle into my finger <laughs> oh dear you can get injured doing these things now the zips I I'm going to see the little tags there the zips I'm actually going to stitch them down with two or three stitches on top because then that will hide that little join there so I shall stitch those down all, all along and then this is going to be hidden underneath so I'll fold it over so you can get a bit of an idea 
and this will be the pink zips will be the frame so I won't be putting it actually in a frame it is quite thick and heavy how it is now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew three or four loops along the top I'll put a backing on it to hide all the stitching underneath and I'll put three or four loops along the top and then it can just be hung with a pole through through the loops so and that will be it there won't be a frame I'm using this board at the moment so because it's nice and solid to work on but uh, yeah so there you are this is this is what I do um, my frugal living lifestyle I make arts and crafts out of recycled materials <sighs> okay I think I've covered everything I don't know you might want to ask some questions go ahead but uh, yeah I think it is looking really good and I am pleased with it so roll on the next project bye